Great and mighty Yahovah, I praise you. For you alone are God, and that would be enough to praise you all the day long. I ask, like the prophets of old, that you would just take that coal and put it on my tongue, God. That I would be used only to bring you glory and to spark the glory in every one of them. In Yeshua's name, amen. The sacrifices are kind of a tough read for a girl that has low reading comprehension skills. I have to get past the um, prepositional phrases and all this stuff to really get to what are they saying and what are they doing. And then after much turmoil in reading it, I have to lift it up as an offering in itself. And I say, oh, King of Kings and Lord of Lords, every, every word of this has purpose in my day today. And then I study the different sacrifices and offerings that are required of the people. And then I think that God has not changed. So these sacrifices and these offerings are required of me still in some fashion. What does it look like in my own reality? When I got to the the portion, there's several things that hit me, so I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to get it all together. Lord, you do it. The um the portion about the peace offering and realizing that Yeshua is my peace offering, that his sacrifice is my peace offering, because the peace offering is so vital to our relationship with God. If you don't have peace with God, you're not gonna have peace with others. This peace offering is so important, and I can see it clearly in the sacrifice of Yeshua. And although I have accepted him as my Lord and Savior, there are days that I still, like, I don't walk out the shalom that I was created and designed to walk out. So, Father, help me with that. This particular morning, because most of the times the best, the best teacher I have is the Ruach HaKodesh himself in my, my presence at the kitchen table where I'm reading and asking him to explain to me this great and mighty word of his, that peace offering struck me differently as a mother. It struck me differently as a woman of prayer. It struck me differently as a ministry leader. It struck me differently because I stood up and I said, oh God, I have asked for the salvation of others, but this morning I will move out with a different realm of of speech. I will ask, O oh King, that you become their that that you become their peace offering, that that you've already been the sacrifice, but the peace is lacking in them, that you become their peace offering. That my son, John Brooks Hall Duncan the first, would 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 have a reckoning with you that you become his peace offering, yeah. not merely his salvation. That you become my daughter's Peace offering, not just merely salvation. Salvation is the beginning of the thing, right? Peace is supposed to carry us all the way through. We should be such containers of peace that when we walk in a room, we make deposits. We should bear so much of the fruit of the Spirit that when we walk in the room, we can say, hey, have a spot, right? Um, and one of the most beautiful parts for me was the dressing. When Moses began to dress Aaron and his sons, Moses bathed them. Moses dressed them. Put all the ritual display upon them. And it brought me to Zechariah. That part in Zechariah where the prophet is looking and and the high priest was filthy. That prophet, that prophet saw that the Lord changed the high priest's clothing. He changed Joshua's clothing, not, not Zechariah. The Lord did. The attendees undressed him and redressed him. But Zechariah stood there and watched it unfold. And he said, put the turban on his head. He was a participant. The righteousness was between Joshua and God. 
the righteousness, the, the marking out the filthy, taking off the filthy, that part of me, that filthiness in me, that filthiness in my children, that filthiness in those that I work with in the jail, that filthiness, that's between them and God. As a participant, as an on-seer of what the Lord is doing in the lives of others, my job is to say, put the turban on them too. Put the turban on them too. And what does that turban represent? It's made of gold. My, my baby was in my notes this morning. Let me get to it. It's made of pure gold. And what is inscribed is holy unto the Lord. I want to go around the rest of my week this week saying, put a turban on them, God. Somebody makes me mad. That's how you get in my prayer closet the quickest. Made me mad. And you in my prayer closet. Right? <laughs> I have learned not to pray about them because ooh, he knoweth all about them, right? I'm to pray for them. I'm to intercede in a way that they have not known the Lord and able to intercede on their behalf because if they really trusted him and they really knew him and they really understood that peace offering and they were really walking out all the shalom that he was ready for us to contain, there would not be any unpeace within them. They would not be at war with themselves, with others, or God. So I want to stand in that place where I get to pray. And I get to see the Holy One, the Ruach HaKodesh, the one that can only convict and only convince and only bring into the kingdom of God. I want the Ruach HaKodesh to do the work because I'm beckoning for it to be done. And then as I see... The dirty rags fall off and the righteousness be in its place. I want to say, put the turban on them too. I don't know how to go past that part. That was the part that just stuck me. And as you were singing this morning, what, uh, what a beautiful sight too, right? We had someone step down last week and then the stage is full this week. And I just love my Messianic community. I, I, I want to say that sometimes the the most um, uncomfortable space is the space where you're in front of everybody else like the sacrifice was done in front of everybody else. There would be several onlookers as the sacrifices were being performed. He will bring you to a place of where more holiness is required when, you, when you've stepped out to become the sacrifice. And the hardest thing with a living sacrifice is that we want to jump off that altar too fast. And sometimes when there's onlookers that have something to say about our sacrifice, we, we want to jump off the altar too fast. And I just say, stay there a while. Let the Holy One do the work that only the Holy One can do. And it is, it is more precious that He do it than I do it. I could look at my children, the adults, and I could... Tell them all the things they're doing wrong, like they don't know it already. Yeah? It's much more powerful to take that word of God and ask that he become that for them. It is, it is his, it, you know, the conviction lasts longer when the Holy Spirit does it. It, it lasts a whole lot longer than when I do it. Um. The, another interesting part was where the blood was put on their ear and their toe and another part of them. Thank you. Thank you. And the right side, because that's where the accuser stands. I'm already covered by the blood. And the word of God says, how beautiful are the feet of those who carry the good news. So as I walk out this good news... I want to see each and every person in my path as little bundles of glory that I get to shine and polish and put a turban on and not poke them at, not poke at them. Great and mighty God, I thank you and praise you that you have given us the ability as believers to do what you have said that we can do. 
you have said that we have the ability to to pray effectively that we can we can bring down the the will of God into this realm your very will we can speak it into this realm we can evoke we can evoke your pers- your promises into this realm we can speak the speech that needs to be spoken on behalf of others because they're just not there yet ha and when they get there god we can ask that just more be given to them that the latter is greater than the former and if there's any deposit that i have ever made into the lives of anyone that they go out and they produce way much more because when I stand before you, King, all I want to do is have a posse. Ha. Like David's mighty men that was once hot and messy, just standing before you in the priestly garments ready to serve you and ready to sacrifice and ready to bring a, a plethora more with them. May we, be the, may we be the comb that you have asked us to be. And it is through your son, Yeshua HaMashiach, and the spirit that we can. Amen.